What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and today I'm gonna to teach my father how to solder. Let's get rhyme. This is a broken DS Lite. It's got a pretty bad top screen. Obviously, we're gonna make a macro. I'm gonna tear this down and talk about what we're doing today because it's a little more than just making a macro. We are making a macro out of this DS Lite, but the catch is my father is going to solder it, not me. I'm gonna see how well I can teach someone how to solder because uh, I'm gonna have to teach someone how to solder that's uh, pretty big, not like large, they're pretty skinny actually. I'm gonna have to teach a YouTube famous person how to solder pretty soon. Unless all of it falls through, then uh, this will be awkward and I'm just teaching my father how to solder for fun. I'm not really gonna teach you how to make, well, I'm not gonna go into huge detail on how to make a macro. I have a quick and easy tutorial on my channel already. But while we wait for my dad, we are going to take this apart, clean it up, so he doesn't have to do anything. But I will have him put it back together, but I'm gonna be nice and clean it up for him and take out the top screen because everybody knows if you've ever soldered or if you've ever made a macro or just worked on a DS before, you know the top screen is the worst. Now we're just gonna spray the crap out of this with some IPA, not the uh, beer, the isopropyl alcohol. Go eat some food, then you can learn me. Okay. Saw so you driving down Ninth Street when I went to the Beyond. Hi, I'm still yes. Hi. Oh my God. Yeah. Yep. We had the Taco Time. We had the cop on the left rear corner of you, and I believe your third brake light is out. Now that everything's clean, we'll come back when my dad's ready. Check one. Check one. Check one two. One two. Check. Don't actually have a way to check. <clears throat> I know, but it sounds cool if I do that. What's the first step in soldering? Grab your soldering thing. No! No. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you want to make sure you have the stuff you're going to solder, which I don't know. I just see these electrical thingies and this and this. Oh, looks like I'm probably going to do something with this. No, yeah, actually not going to do anything with that. Oh, I'm going to say I have to do something with this. Yeah, but what's the first step? Uh, turn it on. No. Nope. We take a word from our sponsor. Oh, who's our sponsor today? That's a good question. Who is our sponsor today? Uh, well, I was going to say but we can't say that. <laughs> it's brought to you by Aunt Shelley. Okay. It's okay. brought to... <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Randy got spotlight before, so... <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Aunt Shelley. I got nothing else to say. Go to the website, <laughs> retroremaster.com. So second thing you do is grab the soldering iron. Where's the soldering iron? Grab it by the handle, right? Yes. Okay. So is it warm now? No. It's not a wireless one. So. Oh. Okay. So it's not on at the moment. Until I push A. Until, yeah, until you push that. So don't push it yet because that's going to go up to... 600 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> what you're going to do... So we're going to solder to uh, LED A2 and this one, which is LED C2. So you see right on the D-pad there, it's a little gross. Yeah, that's because I forgot to actually clean the motherboard. Don't worry, uh, I am going to go back and clean that once I'm done editing here. Yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed that I forgot to clean the motherboard. Anyways, back to the video. The first thing to start. We're gonna grab the solder. Solder. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, since it's not on, mm -hmm. put it up to there, put it up to the point, actually press down on it, just push the tip. Uh, can I look for a second? Yeah, you can look for a Quit second. Quit yelling at me. Push it up there, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna- you Touch it. Yeah. But you're gonna wanna grab the, by the solder there. Yeah, because you wanna heat it up a little bit on the, on the pad, You'll heat it, 
and then you'll push the solder into it so it just melts immediately. And then it should say on that little screen that it's going up to 300 degrees. Oh yeah. And I see it's working because it's steaming a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I can smell it. Yep. It smells great, doesn't it? It's awesome. Yeah. Do not touch anything silver from here on out, except for you can touch the solder. But you can go ahead when you're ready. Boom, looks good. Nope, that's perfect. And you can do it for the second one. Ooh. You got a lot on that one, but that's all right. You can pull it back. The first joint, pretty pretty nice. Second joint, pretty tall. But we have a thing to fix that. What do we use to uh, remedy that? <clears throat> Let me set down my tool. You can go ahead and unplug it. That's what I do. And then we need the chainsaw. Um, there should be some little nippers or something. Nope. Uh, oh, just use your teeth? Yep. Just go ahead and bite down on it. Can this just... Nope. Nope, don't use that. Thinking too aggressively. Just your fingers? No. I'll give you a hint. It's yellow and in the bucket. The flux capacitor? Yes. What does this do? You're just gonna put the tiniest little bit. Mm, that's a hot soldering iron that I just leaned on. <laughs> but thankfully those dry or cool off pretty fast, so I don't even see a mark. It's just a flesh wound. There you go. Okay, now we can plug the soldering iron back in. Back in. Plug it in. And then don't put the metal to your skin like your son did. And just go ahead and press it down where you put that flux. And it should freeze my camera. Nice. Yeah. But now I got a giant glob of That's that. Fine. All right. Do I just put the glob or do I need this again? No, just put the well just put it down again on the on the pad. There we go. Boom. I wasn't the best teacher there. I was trying to focus on that. But yeah, they did work just fine. You had plenty of solder on there. There's a lot of people in the, the interwebs that say that that's a bad thing to do. Don't put solder on your tip and then use that. And I'd, I've done it for the whole time I've been doing it. Yes, it works better that way, but... So you're like the black sheep of the solder community? Sure, whatever that means. <laughs> I recommend unplugging the soldering iron and setting that down again. Now do I touch it to my arm like yeah. you did? Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna put it back over here so you don't hurt yourself. And then we put a little more flux. A little more on flux. Because this is a, a secret of mine. I put flux down where I need to put small things to solder and then this the flux acts as a it acts as a like a glue. That's what I was trying to say. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and take one resistor out. This is the hard part. Yeah. So I would take tweezers. tweezers. It doesn't matter if it's upside down or what. You just want to get the two ends that are silver there. Mm -hmm. The ones that both of your fingers are touching and put those in the middle there. You want one silver end touching each gold pad. Well, it's not releasing from the tweezers. That's not fair. Pinch the tweezers together and then push down on it. Now we're going to plug the soldering iron back in. And I recommend using the tweezers in your left hand to hold it down. So it doesn't lift off? Yep, because it will stick to the soldering iron. Did I not get it? No, it's so close. Okay. I think you got it. And you were successful. Oh, I'm bringing this back. I told your mom. The dab? Yeah. I, sorry. There we go. The dab never left for me. I dab all the time. Yeah? So, yeah, I just don't do it on camera. I just did a dab of solder. And then, mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't want to. 
There we go. <laughs> it's more. <laughs> now we're gonna put it all back together. What do you think would be the first step in putting it back together? Do you remember? Plug the toothbrush in. Yeah, no. But put glasses on. <laughs> yeah, probably that. My dad is very blind. Who said that? Well, we have this doohickey. Mm -hmm. We want to flip it over and flip that into it. Yeah, but would it be hard to press the buttons in? No, not for me. And what do those rubber pads do? They are insulators and a bit of a buffer. And a lot of people don't know this. They were in... <laughs> what? What? Oh, forget it. I was going to share some knowledge with no, you. I'm, no, I'm just smiling at your knowledge. Yeah, well, I was going to tell you who invented them, but... Psh. Who invented them? Hold on, i got to put these in. Okay, so, do you remember Die Hard? Yes. And what was the name of the plaza that he was in? Uh, Nakatomi. That is who invented them, and that's uh -huh. how they were able to afford the tower to be built. Little known fact, a lot of people didn't know that. Uh-huh, but that still doesn't answer what the, the question was. I did tell you. They're, what does it do? They're insulators. What you do is, you when you push the button, it pushes into the contact and creates the reaction that you need. And yeah. so what does it do when you press down? When you push down on this, it yeah. pushes that black dot into that electrical mm -hmm. grid. I'm sure it's got some name for it. You'd have to ask John McClane. I don't know. That's it creates the circuit. Yeah. The, well, it, it, reaction, it, circuit, whatever. I would recommend screwing in the motherboard so it's nice and safe in there. It won't jiggle. Uh, is that a Phillips head? Yep. It is, but it's a left-handed screwdriver, so... Okay. On the motherboard, it's going to have these white circles here. And anything that, anytime there's a white circle around a hole in the motherboard, then it means it's a screw hole. One of those? Yep. Is that magnetized? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> very, very crucial point, and this is where I messed up the very first time I made a macro. Mm -hmm. So you see this tab right here? Yeah. That is the power switch, and then this tab right here is the volume switch. Okay. So I always push the volume switch all the way in, and then this one stays down. It'll only turn up. Because if not, it's going to be hidden behind there. Or you're going to snap off this, and you have to replace the entire power switch. Mm -hmm. so, so make sure that, that is the power switch on that, that piece of plastic, is all the way down. Yep, and make sure that the volume is all the way in. The more important one is the power switch. This will be for sale on my website if you guys just want to go to jakesdad.com. I'm kidding. It's .net. .org, you're an organization. <laughs> I'm in Oregon. I have no idea how long ago we uh, stopped recording. Hopefully too much of it wasn't cut off. Probably, I mean, all the good stuff was probably good. Probably. Hopefully they caught the Confucius bit because that was pretty good wisdom. What's the last <clears throat> the two steps here? Lick that clean. Yep. You want to put the battery in. Mm -hmm. Just a little check. Make sure that I've got, oh, it's going to go like that. Yep. And then you're going to put the battery cover. Mm -hmm. Invented by Robert Cover, of yep. the cover, cover family. And then we're going to switch back to the Phillips. I was wondering if you are going to catch that. Catch what? Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. All right. Flip it over and see if it turns back on again. Boom. We can go ahead and cut cut to commercial. Cut. So hold on. Okay. Yeah, okay, good job. Hand model. Mm-hmm. Hand twins. Were we hand twins? I think we're hand twins. No, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Fifth place out of eight. You doing better than fantasy at least. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what is going on? I'm Whoa, you're in second. I got second place. Woo! Whew. 
What, what's the experience like? Life changing. I'm just not exaggerating. Just yeah. Just being straight keep, up, keeping it real. Keeping it very real. I would say having children, and this is like really close. Yeah. <laughs> having having me is just right <laughs> above that because if you didn't have me, then you wouldn't be able to do that. That so, yeah 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 yeah. Still not as good as the dirty wide boy. No. It, this is a, a wide-ish boy, but this is a wider boy. It's just hard to beat that. Yeah. I know I did a good job and all. But this has lumps. Yeah. I think the other thing for your audience to remember is that the camera adds 10 pounds and there are two cameras on me. Yes, this is true. <laughs> there was a third one on you earlier, so you just lost weight. You mm -hmm. lost 10 pounds like that. Boom. Bam. Bam. Boom. Did I do better at the soldering than you thought I would? You, you did about as good as I thought. I didn't think you were gonna do bad. I had confidence in you, so. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting the tower of solder on that one joint. I was just showing off my skills. But it was perfect, because it segued into the next thing. It wasn't as smooth as the segue to our sponsor was, Aunt Shelly. There's not a link to her down below. The last thing is, uh, would you, do you want to keep this or do you want to defer this to the audience where they could buy it at RetroRemaster.com? I want you to sell it and make money. Yeah, that's my dad. Is that my toothbrush? Yeah, that's your toothbrush. Dang it. I think that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, who should they listen to? Brittany. <laughs> and uh, if you're new here, Hit that subscribe button. How? What percentage of viewers are actually subscribed? One. One percent. Yeah. One percent. Should they go subscribe to my Patreon? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Anybody who's smart does that. Mm -hmm. Do you Do you know who the two wonderful people are that are already subscribed? Lou the Lunatic mm -hmm. and Scott. Yeah. Good job. Bam. See, he watches every video. You should too. Follow the socials. Links down below. They're all on screen, too. Yeah. Down below. below. And uh, I think that's all the, uh, the crap we need to do. So we can sign off. And I'll see you guys in, in, in the next one. Later, guys. Now the hard part is choosing which funny thing is the end bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hit me, baby, one more time. I won't even use the clip. I'll just put that in there. Hit. <laughs>